taken hourly from a chemical process. The data drawn with a target value of mole kilo weight is 1050 and the process standard deviation is 25. The data given have 1 sample size and 20 sample subgroup. If given the process standard deviation which is 25, magnitude of the shift that are interested in detecting 1 sigma can be calculated which equal to 25. Other than that, target value also given. With that, out of control value which is mu1 can be calculated with adding the target value with the magnitude of the shift. After that, k and h value need to be defined with the formula absolute mu1 minus mu0 divide with 2 for k and use 5 sigma formula for h. Thus, we got 12.5 and 125 respectively for k and h value. By using all the information from the previous calculation, we can build the QSUM tabular and this tabular containing two parts to be compute which is upper side QSUM which is C I positive and below side QSUM C I negative. The quantities of N positive and N negative indicates the number of consecutive values that the QSUM C I positive or C I negative have been non zero. The QSUM calculation show that the upper side QSUM at period 10 is 170.5. Since this is the first period at which C I positive greater than H which is 125, at the point we should conclude that the process is out of control. Furthermore, the counter N positive record the number of consecutive periods since the upper side consume CI plus rose above the value of zero. In this process, we can conclude that the process was last in control at period 7 as the counter N positive equal to 3. To sum up, the shift likely occurred between period 7 and 8. Show the QSUM status chart if the UCL is H equal to 125 CL is Y equal to 0 and LCL is H equal to negative 125. After all the points are plotted, it is shown that not all of the points are plotted within the upper and lower limit. Moreover, cumulative sum of deviation below that the target show no sign of increasing and decreasing pattern as the pattern should fluctuate randomly around the center line which is Y equal to 0. However, the result of cumulative sum deviation above the target draws an increasing line exceeding the upper limit, which means the process has shifted and may be affected by the specific variable causes. But, in the last 10 observations, the mean has shifted to mu equal to 1075, which is a strong upward trend indicate that there is an out-of-control condition from period 10 and on. In this situation, an adjustment to some manipulatable variable is required in order to bring the process back to the target value, which is mu due to out of control. The new process mean can be computed by the equation below, and from this question, we will estimate the new process average that say within the upper and lower limit. The equation to be computed is stated below.